Uh, my name is Astra, Artist Astra, and I'm thrilled to be here. I'm thrilled to be on YouTube for my first ever live stream. Uh, I'll be showing you how to draw a favorite subject of mine, a favorite subject since I was young. And I, I thought to myself, yeah, what if someone had showed me how to do this when I was younger? I, I'm a self-taught artist, but I, I'm thrilled to, uh, to show you what I know. Hang on a second. I think I need to put something on. There we go. Okay, that's going to keep my, my microphone anchored so it doesn't fall off my head. So we're talking about horses today. Here's an example. Okay, I guarantee that you'll have one of the best horses you've ever drawn. I'll show you the anatomy and the moves you can make as you go. Okay, so here's my wonderful horse, and you get a sense of the horse's body. Yeah, horses are very long. They have long faces. They have a long neck. They have a long body and torso. They have long legs. Not like a giraffe. I mean, those are super long. But, but you get the idea. Even a long tail, sometimes long hair on their neck. Okay, so we're just getting a sense of the body of the horse here. Have a look at the legs. Now, what's interesting about the leg here? Notice this. You know, we have this too. That's our wrist right here. Let's let me move this up a bit. Okay, so yeah, the horse has an elbow. So where's your elbow? You can find your elbow. Okay, the elbow bends, and then they have this part here. We have a wrist as well. They, horses can't do this, though. They can only go this way. And then they have a long, long, uh, what would be, uh, I guess, our hand, right? Long, long, long. And then this is like a big toe or a big finger at the end. That's their hoof. Okay. So that's a special thing to know about them. And their back legs, too. They have a knee, and then they have a heel. They have a back heel. So if you were wearing a, a shoe, okay, your, your shoe would cover up this whole part. If you were going to draw a stick figure of a horse, what would you do? Okay. We're just quickly making the head, the neck, the body, right? Long body. Where would the legs go? Two legs in the front, two in the back, long tail. This gives you a sense of its proportion, the way its body looks. Just in case you can't see that well on the screen, here, I'll outline this for you. Remember the face. Yeah, this is a practice paper. We are practicing. We're just loosening up a little bit. Okay, there's a stick figure. A lot of people say, oh, I can only draw a stick figure. Well, you can draw a stick figure of a horse as well. So this gives you a sense of its body, of its proportion. Okay, on top of your stick figure, what if you had to flesh it out, right? They have that round part of their face here. They have a round part at the end where their nose is. What else is round? Okay, around where their chest would be. Okay. In the back, they have a round rump. Okay. And then, yeah, we know that they have the long legs. Long legs. See, you can start fleshing it out a little more. We're just practicing before we get into the real thing. Okay, so here we go. We're going to, going to go this way. Diagonal. And stop about there. All right. So far, so good. Okay. If you need to erase anything, okay. And be kind on yourself. Don't worry. If yours doesn't look exactly like mine or exactly like that horse, that is fine. You're practicing. That's what matters. Okay. We have the chest. Make a little line for the chest. Okay. Then what we shall do is make the leg coming out. Okay. So make the leg go this way and a little bump for the knee, or, <laughs> or more like the wrist, excuse me. It almost seems like a human knee, right? Because we can bend our leg the same way the horse moves its front leg. Okay, over here, how about over here? Now measure, say, hmm, give yourself a little space here, maybe two fingers. Give the horse an elbow. Make a little backwards L like that for the elbow. And then make the line continue 
parallel. These lines are parallel. They're going in the same direction. Okay. And then what we shall do is come down a little more and down a little more. And we will make the horse's front foot. Okay, so there are a few bumps in the front foot. So you can come in a little bit, little tiny bit in. Then think of the letter V, V for Vico, right? So watch this. Okay, so diagonal and then come up. Okay, I'm making this thick so you can see. It's like the letter V, right? All right, then come up and then make another little bump. Okay, and then make a line and you've got the front hoof. Then we can make this leg come out. Okay, so this one's going this way, this one's going that way. If you want, you can continue from here. Okay, yeah, you can see, good. All right, so go a little in. And then it's going to go diagonal this way, diagonal and parallel. Diagonal and stop about there. Okay, again over here. Diagonal, parallel, stop about there. Okay, it's a little, I'm taking a look at the, at the foot there. Here's my recommendation, okay, my, my young artists. We're going to come in and make the letter V again. See the letter V right there? Whoops, yeah, I'll make it nice and dark so you can see. Letter V, make it a nice big letter V because that's the hoof, the hoof of the horse. That's its foot, basically a giant toenail. Okay, let's get the tail in there. Okay, a nice long tail. The tail is an extension of the horse's spine, its backbone. Its backbone runs down its neck, down its back, and then out the tail. So whoosh. Okay, so it would be a little skinny here, and then whoosh. You can make it, make the lines long at the end. Look at that. Yeah, have some fun making long lines for the hair. Have some fun with that. Okay. Now this horse here has a mane that's hanging down. Okay. If you want to get creative, here's what you can do. Remember this one I drew before that I, sho I showed you before? If you want, your hair, um, rather the mane of the horse can be flowing if you want. Okay. You can start to make your horse an individual Okay, whatever you like right now. I think si since you see what this looks like, and we, we already see this, and we have the model here. Let's, let's do what the model has right next to us. Okay, so this horse here has hair or a mane that's hanging down. So you would make a line like that. Okay, and then you would make zigzags. See, this is a zigzag line when you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, like so. Then it can come up right about where its shoulder is. See, it's, it's got this big shoulder area, and it would end right there. I don't think it would continue that way. Well, unless, unless you have a fantasy horse, you want to just keep going. That is up to you. Okay, and if you want, you can have some hair in the front have a little bit of hair hanging out. You can make the other ear, so you make another little little ear on the other side. What about what about the eye? Okay, it's got an eye right over here. So you can make it like that. Okay, right now it looks very cute. It looks like its eye is closed, but let's open the eye. Okay, whoop, it's open. And then if you want, okay, add maybe a little line inside and then color in part of it. Maybe the art will inspire you to make your horse some other colors. Okay. Yeah, I'd, uh, 
Okay. And then think about your background. Do you want to have grass? Do you want to have the sky? Do you want to make a fence back there? So many possibilities. But now that you know how to basically draw the body of a walking horse, yeah, you have that, you have that skill. One extra thing up here, they have this round part, okay, where their jaw is. Yeah, their jaw is here, their cheek is there. So if you want to add that little round part there, go for it. Okay, oh, we have just enough time to look at some horse art. Just enough time. Yeah, just adding some more, more of this. Okay. Yeah, so work on that. I'm about to show you some horse art. And maybe you'll see some colors of horses that you like. Okay, so here we go. All right, so I'll have to, I'll have to leave the desk. So one last look before I go before I go look at the horse art with you. Yeah, you know, I, I know uh, yeah, some of you might be outlining it, okay? All right, but this video will be available later if you need to refer to it again. Okay, here we go. Let's look at some horse artists. Let's look at that really quickly. Okay, here's a great example of an artist known for his horses. This is George Stubbs. George Stubbs is from England, or was, was from England, and he was born August 25th, 1724. And yeah, he was self-taught. So he studied himself. That means yeah, no one else taught him. He looked very carefully. He learned from observation. And that's a really important skill for an artist. And you can see a couple of his works here. We've got Whistle Jacket, this, uh, the brown horse right there. That's a really well-known one. And it's a huge painting, yeah, large painting. And he also did a bunch of series of horse, horse Frightened by Lions. So yeah, he would focus on horses and lions for a few of his paintings. So definitely look him up, George Stubbs. Okay, we have uh, Xu Beihong from China, also known for his horses, known to love horses too. And look right there, that's a self-portrait. He drew that of himself. And look what's in the background. He's got a horse back there. Yep, he loved horses. And he was known for other art as well. But we, could, we could go into a whole long, uh, long lesson just on this one artist, but yeah, his, ho his horses are very well known, especially the one uh, that's galloping right here, the galloping horse. What was special about it was he combined um, a, a Chinese style with a Western perspective. You see how the horse is like coming towards us. That's a big deal. Rosa Bonheur from France. Yeah, Molly Luce was American and Rosa Bonheur is French. And she was born in 1822, March 16th, actually. So happy almost birthday to Rosa Bonheur. And now a special thing about her, um, well, actually a special thing about, uh, about this particular painting on the bottom. We're going to take a closer look at it. But she loved animals. She was really known for painting animals really well, studying them, her family. Uh, there were artists in her family. So she was fortunate to, to have the support and, and learn so much. Let's take a really good look at this bottom one here. Oh, the, oh, here the horse fair. Now, OK, here's a special thing about the horse fair. And I hope, I hope you were successful with your drawing. And I hope you're having fun with the colors, whatever colors you chose. If they're going to be natural colors, brown, gray, black, white, spots, all types of colors. Horses are as individual as we are. Yep, so have, have some fun picking your colors and coloring in your horse and making a, a world for it. Where does your horse live? Think about that. That's for a future class. You know, we can work on backgrounds another time. Okay, so with that, yeah, it's just about time. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will 
I will see you hopefully next time.